All right, so the camera cut off. I didn't get a chance to finish the whole story, all right? So I had number 15. The coach was all like, uh, Jabril, you get it. Because we were down by 40 points. We, the team wasn't that good. They used to just talk trash about every team. It wasn't that good, but um, we were down by 40, so he just put me in the fourth quarter with um, two minutes left. First thing I do when I get in, someone had a steal in my team, and it was going for a fast break, taking the ball down, going super fast, so I chased him down. I was the only one who didn't give up on the play. I chased the guy down, he tried to lay it up. I jumped up, came from behind him, smacked the ball off the backboard. Like LeBron, like LeBron, that was basically how it was. Or um, the Alonzo block. Bings the floor. Little stutter step with the dribble and runs into the double team. Collison and Ball. The Bruins going at each other. And it's Lonzo getting the swat. They have the great angle, but he makes a great play on it as he gets the swat off the glass and then. Talk with, uh, I think it was someone on the Cavs. I gotta, I gotta find that clip and I'm gonna put it in there. It was a block like that. I chased him down, blocked him off the glass. After that, the ref called, says time out because I had blood on my shirt, so I had to switch the jersey. So my friend Nasir gives me a jersey. So I put on his jersey, number 23, now I got on. Because no one else is trying to give me a jersey, like I said. It was being like, oh boy. So I got the rebound on someone on my team missed. I came up, did a reverse finger roll, and it rolled right in. And I was feeling pretty good on my head at one point. After that, it was on ball again. I grabbed the rebound again. Jumped up in the air, brought it back down, tapped the backboard, and it won it. So I'm feeling like a superhero now. The whole crowd was screaming. Because like I just scored back to back, and I had a block. So it was like I was keeping the game alive in two minutes. Then after that, I got the ball again. Because everyone knows who, like, it was me and a whole bunch of other bad players. But I wasn't a bad player. So I, I don't, they trying to act like, oh yeah, I told you we were good. And I'm like, no. I'm good, y'all not good, y'all trash. So anyway, um, one of them bringing the ball down, I'm like, give me the ball, give me the ball. He's all trying to act like he knows what to do. Ends up getting caught up, cause he don't, he don't know how to play, so he ends up passing me the ball. I'm coming down, someone's in front of me. I'm bouncing the ball, let me just get up, show y'all. <laughs> this is the move I did, I'm bouncing the ball, do the spin, Bounced it back, jumped up, fade away. So I do a whole Kobe fade away. No one thought it was gonna go in. Even one of the people on my team, I heard him say, that's off. And my friend Nasir heard him say that too. I jumped up, Kobe shot it and made it. And then after that, I was trying to get a steal, but it just it didn't work out. I was trying to get like 10 points. My friend, the whole crowd was all hyped. I'm all taunting everybody like this. I brought us back uh, like eight points, I think. Cause I think I had an assist too. But it was just crazy. Like that was like a movie moment. I feel like every kid wanted to have that moment where everyone in the gym is screaming and stuff. So I really was practicing hard for that. And then I finally had that moment. So that was the best part of the Hoop Dreams. So um, after that, Nasir was getting all hype. Another basketball player on the team was getting hyped. Everybody else was mad because he lost. And then the other team was like, I still lost. And I'm like, I don't care, man. I was just worried about myself. I was just trying to show I could play. So I go up to the coach, like, you gonna start letting me in games more? He's all, well, I'll think about it. And I'm like, so I'm happy because I'm thinking I'm about to start. This is my time to shine. After that, the next game, the next day, everyone was all broke and play. Like, people don't even know what's coming up to me saying, oh, I seen you, uh, I seen you playing, you good. Why don't they let you in? So that was a good feeling. But I should have just stayed to playing home games. Because right after that, we had an away game. So we get on the bus, and I was, I got the, he put me in, I got the ball, and I'm like, I can't force a shot, because I'm like, there's literally nothing to do. So I just passed it back to somebody else. And then he took me out. And then after that, I never got a chance to play again. And I was pretty mad. So I didn't get a chance to play in a basketball game. After, if you even look at the the um, yearbook, and they got the basketball teams, I only got a jersey on, because I was just there. 
So that was messed up. So I don't, that was the end of my hoop dreams because I ended up still, I ended up getting way, 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 way better. Like right now, I'm pretty good. And then the uh, quarantine happened, so I didn't play basketball in a while. Like I was, my bunnies were getting there. I was almost getting ready to dunk. Then quarantine happened, so I don't even know. I gotta make a basketball video. Cause we not bad basketball players. We some good, like, everybody good basketball players. Now Sears a great basketball player, Tyrone. He's a great basketball player now. We all, we all some Ubers, so I definitely gotta show all that. Um, but yeah, that's that's the end of the Hoop Dream story. Uh, that was messed up, cause I, I didn't get a chance to play again. That was a good feeling to play for a team. That was the first time I actually ever was on the team playing. Oh shit! And to me, that's easier, cause you don't gotta call your fouls. Like the refs do it for you. But um, yeah, basketball is fun. I wasn't the coolest person at my school. But everyone should be cool to a certain extent, you know? Everyone, whatever you do that you're good at, you better make that something cool, you know? And, um... Uh... Oh, yeah, once I started playing basketball, I remember, I was super bad. So now that I'm good now, after all that hard work, that's the best feeling in the world. Once you're not good at something, you end up coming good that's a real good film so to end it off um appreciate everyone who i texted because i texted all the new subscribers so i actually have a personal connection with y'all so i appreciate y'all the people who cursed me out just for asking if you was interested in subbing to my youtube channel when i first texted y'all i don't know y'all cool too but man y'all y'all mean for no reason maybe it's the quarantine but um all right peace stay cool Why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down? Seems like motherfuckers should be shutting the hell up and enjoying the show. Top of the slave ship. Popped up my chain and took it to Jacob. I gotta go play this. More than that bitch like, nigga, we made it.